So here is that closed compartment, and here is the apple. There's gravity in this direction. It wants to fall in that direction of gravity if I cut the wire. Now I'm going to accelerate it in this direction. And when I do that, I add a perceived component of gravity in the opposite direction. So I add a perceived component of gravity in this direction. So this apple wants to fall down because of the gravity that I cannot avoid, and it wants to fall in this direction. So what will the string do? It's very clear, very intuitive. No one has any problem with that. The string will do this. Now I have a balloon here. Helium. There's gravity in this direction. That's why the balloon wants to go up. Opposes gravity. I'm going to accelerate the car in this direction. I introduce perceived gravity in this direction. What does the balloon want to do? It wants to go against gravity. I build up in here, it must be a closed compartment, I must build up there a pressure differential. The air wants to fall in this direction. I build up a pressure here which is larger than the pressure there. That's why it has to be a closed compartment. What will the helium balloon do? It will go like that. That is very non-intuitive. So I accelerate this car, as I will do. The apple will go back, which is completely consistent with all our intuition, but the helium balloon will go forward. Let's first do it with the apple, which is totally consistent with anyone's intuition. Let me make sure that the apple is not swinging too much. Now, it only happens during the acceleration. So it's only during the very short portion that I accelerate, that you see the apple go back, and then, of course, it starts to swing. Forget that part. So watch closely. Only the moment that I accelerate, the apple will come this way. It goes into the direction, the extra component of perceived gravity. Ready? Boy, it almost hit this glass here. Everyone could see that, right? Okay. Now we're going to do it with the balloon. I'm going to take this one off. And now let's take one of our beautiful balloons. So we're going to put a balloon in here. It has to be a closed compartment so that the air can build up the pressure differential. Always problem with static charges on these systems. Okay. Only as long as I accelerate will the balloon go in forward direction. So I accelerate in this direction, and what you're going to see is really very non-intuitive. Every time I see it, I say to myself, I can reason it, but do I understand it? I don't know what is the difference between reasoning and understanding. There we go. The balloon went this way. You can do this. In your car, your parents, it's really fun to do it. Have a string with an apple or something else, and have a helium balloon. Close the windows, don't have to be exact, totally closed, but more or less, and ask your dad or your mom to slam the brakes. If you slam the brakes, what will happen? The apple will go. What do you think? If you slam the brakes, the apple will go forward, the balloon will go backward. If you accelerate the car all of a sudden, the apple will go backwards and the balloon will go forward. You can do it at home. You can enjoy, entertain your parents with Thanksgiving. <laughs>